And that's basically the reason that we don't go to estate sales. The companies that run them are super, super sh All right, we spotted some more of uh, Justin Rose's clubs. These are the TR20s, the Hanmas, 370. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going to an estate sale. You guys have seen us go to garage sales, flea markets, all that kind of stuff. We've been to estate sales before. It was more of like, they happened to be like in a community garage sale. Pretty I didn't much. even know that they were estate sales, but today we found one that is supposed to have a bunch of golf clubs. I saw in the pictures that there's there's one that I particularly yeah. want. So we got here early, there's already a line. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it's still gonna be there by the time we get in there, but who knows? Yeah. Never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Also, we just passed 60,000 subscribers and we're gonna have our uh, big special yes. coming up soon. <laughs> thank so you thank you guys for that. Let's uh, keep things rolling here and see who can find it. This is state sale. We'll probably do some other stuff after yeah. this too, but I'm excited. <laughs> state sale time. Yes. All right, everybody, the house is full, small house, tons of stuff. Obviously, there's something here everybody wants. What does everybody want? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Cameras. I'm with, all right, raise the price on the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Usually nobody says anything. <laughs> All right, just be careful walking in there. Look, watch out for the step signs. Like it says, caution going over a threshold. If you go out on the patio, be sure to shut the glass behind you. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what they do. They're selling good stuff in Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Greg, you're out here and they're selling good stuff. I think they ended up last minute taking that. Oh, okay. And that's basically the reason that we don't go to estate sales. The companies that run them are super, super shady. There was like 10 people looking for those golf clubs yeah. and they were not there. Everybody was like, there were pictures here and like you sold them before we got here, but. I, I don't know yeah. what to say on that one. And then everything else was way too expensive, yeah. but we learned our lesson. No more estate sales unless, unless, unless we get one. bored. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll meet you at the uh, next spot. Let us know if you guys have ever had uh, luck at estate sales, especially with the pictures. Mm -hmm. That and like storage auctions are supposed to be the shadiest because they'll like, put, the, put yeah. stuff there and then yeah, it's magically. magically not there. Although they're not allowed to go into the unit. Also, like the estate sale stuff, they like mark up the prices so they, and they hope that it doesn't sell because they can sell it on like eBay or something. Yeah, else. I don't know. I just always found the thing to be shady. So yeah, it's kind of strange business. Very strange business model. But we'll meet you at the next spot. This is in our car. Oh, no, Another Subaru. It finally <laughs> happened. <laughs> Subaru Inception. All right, next stop, we're at a pawn shop. We always have good luck here. And this one has its own Instagram account. That's pretty yeah, interesting. Follow them, on, follow them on IG at value underscore pawn 11235. You got that? Let's see what they got inside. <laughs> oh, those are so sweet. The Wilson FG Tour V6s. The D7, $380. And this bag is awesome. Yeah, that's like a cool material. Too. Three, four, five. Eight. It's not a complete set of shafts that we got in them. Oh, KBS Tours, multi-compound grips. That is pretty sweet. Uh -huh. Also, you can catch a shark on that pen. I don't want to catch a shark. <laughs> you can catch a shark on anything, but it's going to be hard to get reel it in. The last thing about the clubs. Uh, yeah, you know what the best you can do on the uh, golf clubs is? Price listed. Price listed? Well, he definitely wasn't in the mood to negotiate, but on to the next pawn shop. <laughs> Strange day. Very strange day. <laughs> Best of attorneys call 411 Pay. 1 800 411 Pay. Call oh, Morgan. Back to music from Drake. Oh, bunch of golf clubs over there. Also got a uh, motorcycle. Here we go. Got some uh, Nike CPRs. Ashley's favorite. If you guys haven't watched the channel, when I f we first started playing, I gave uh, Ashley a set of uh, Nike CPRs. Yeah, she almost, yeah, she almost uh, quit playing after I, that. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I think it was the fact that I was a beginner. But he yeah. didn't like them either. He'd been playing for a long time too. Oh, I got a Voodoo Daddy uh, putty putter. I shot one of my best rounds ever with this. I used the uh, two thumb grip on here. Very uh, bizarre combination. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like a full set of a uh, top play. It's got a bunch of random clubs in there though. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see what the prices would be because it seems like that's a full set. Oh, um, okay. These are all like random clubs as well. Some of them are marked. We'll see they if we can. Actually, mark two dollars. Two dollars. I have no idea what that is. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see if we can't get this Voodoo Daddy putter. Get a set of straps over this. For old times. For old times' sake. Cool. Sweet. Dad jokes <laughs> with the Daddy putter. <laughs> How's it going? So this isn't like a random bag and there's already another putter in there. I didn't know if you'd sell it by itself. Fifteen. Fifteen. You do ten. 
kind of old, it's not really, it's more of a nostalgic thing than anything else. So, cool. Whoa. Music to music. All right, first purchase of the day is the Voodoo Daddy, the Never Compromise putter. It's got a pretty good grip, came with the uh, head cover, and it's in really good condition. These things are like notorious for getting nicked up like crazy, and uh, it's in pretty good condition. Mm -hmm. Be fun to uh, try that out. It doesn't really go for that much. We got it for ten dollars. Probably goes for thirty-five, forty dollars on More eBay. More nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. Pretty sweet. <laughs> we'll meet you at the next spot. Got the golf clubs over by the hoverboards. <laughs> it's like every uh, pawn shop they do that. Yeah. It's kind of weird. What? I think it's the other ones of those uh, Wilson <laughs> FG Tour P sixes. <laughs> How random is that? It was yeah. It was missing like the nine, the seven, and the pitching wedge. It had the eight the other place. That is kind of uh, goofy. Maybe we'll uh, be able to piece together the entire set through our uh, trip today. Got a full set of uh, Lynx Black Cats, some Cobra SS's. $39 for this bag. This is actually a full set of those. Got a lots of uh, not as good clubs in there as well. $39. Let's see if it's a full set of the uh, Cobras and the Lynx. We'll let you know. Also, I'm gonna go look and see if there are any more uh, FG tours in there. Step up on this. Got a two iron. What do we got? That is so random. That's clearly the. Uh, does it have the KBS shaft? Yeah, KBS shaft had the same grip. How bizarre is that? Today has been definitely uh, interesting to say the least. Can I say hello? Yes, must Come in. Is he for sale? <laughs> no. But he's for songs. making a friend. Is it nine? Yeah, you can do this. There's a cool. nine over there in there. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, it's a key one right here. So. Stop. Looks like an extra nine that they had in there. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, pod shops never disappoint. We got a, a full set of the Cobra SS, is a full set of the Lynx Black Cats. We got that uh, Wilson FG6 thrown in there, yeah. and the Cobra Driver thrown in there, and Ashley made a new friend. Got to play with the puppy. Yeah, Good that day. is uh, pretty sweet. <laughs> we'll meet you at the uh, next spot. Oh, tons of golf clubs over there. There are so many. We got an R7 425. We got a Taylor made 360. Got Taylor made tour preferred wedge. Adams left handed. We got an Odyssey Dual Force Rossi back there. Got Taylor made Rasa. Another R7. Bunch of uh, Taylor made stuff in here. King Cobra SSIs. Whoa, look at these. We got the uh, Callaway MBs. How much are they coming for? $770. Oh my goodness. <laughs> $49 for 910F. Those Callaways are awesome. And we got the uh, Ben Hogan BH5s. What else do we got? Callaway bag right here. How much are we going for? $99. That's got the uh, BH5s in there. Oh, I don't think that's. Hogan back there too. Oh, nice. The uh, Hogan Forge. Uh, one of our subscribers, Vivek, sent us a, a full set of yeah. those. One iron through, I think, pitching wedge mm -hmm. with graphite shafts. Those are super they cool. Really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Nike Sumo. Or no, this is no. Cobra. <laughs> Threw me off of the color scheme. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just thinking, too. And it's not oh. even. No, it's not even the right club. <laughs> what do we got in here? Got a Cobra F6. This is a 3 4 wood. Where does it say? Oh, yeah, right there. 3 4 wood, the adjustable. I'm seeing if it's for me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the flex. Okay. <laughs> Fight over it. What else do we got in here? Let's see if there's anything that's a good deal. Maybe we can negotiate down on these uh, Callaway uh, MBs, but it seems like they uh, definitely want to get two Mizuno wedges. I don't see the Mizuno wedges. There's our negotiating tactic. Yeah. See if they're in good condition. And uh, now they got a, a lot of browning on the uh, short irons. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah. not. We'll let you know if we end up getting anything, but. Definitely a uh, ton of clubs to say the least. Can you do 80 out the door? I'll do 80 out the door. Alright, that sounds good. Is that the only thing you want to get today? Yeah. yeah. And that head cover went with this one. Uh, the, did that come off of that one? Yeah, the Cobra. Alright, thank you. Cool. 
right, folks, a quick change of plans. That pawn shop deal did not go as planned. We'll get into that a little bit later, but we are at Universal Studios in Orlando. Yeah, they have a crazy deal on annual passes. I think it's like 15 months, and it's like the price of two tickets. Yeah, there's two parks, so we figured if we like it, we'll yeah, keep, keep going on back. going. <laughs> We're going to go to the parks anyways. Also, comment below if we should do our own theme park channel. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, like people ask us all the time. You guys know that we're big Disney fans. Yeah. People like email us probably like 15, 20 times a month mm -hmm. about like what parks to go to, what golf courses to play yeah, around there. So food reviews too. Yeah, I don't know. Comment below if we should do that. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, 3,000 likes and we'll start a theme park channel. We I live close be, enough. Exactly. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun now to think about it. I don't know, we can play the Disney golf courses and all that yeah. kind of stuff, but let us know in the comments below. But we are going to head to lunch, then we'll get into that whole pawn shop ordeal. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll meet you out at the golf course or something, but <laughs> very bizarre day. Yes, let's very... let's just pile on here. I'll go to Universal <laughs> in the middle of a golf video. All right, we have procured the meat. Ashley got herself a uh, Angry Whopper. That place was super busy in there, but mm -hmm. Angry Whopper. Oh yeah, that looks good. And it's, it's really good. It's like a thousand degrees out, so I got myself a, a Junior Whopper. I can't eat as much as uh, Ashley, surprisingly. <laughs> and we got some high C to cool us down, but yeah. we'll meet you at the... Uh, really good. Is it good? Definitely worth adding the pickles, though. It adds, because it's pretty spicy. So. Yeah, it's like a build your own bar thing. You can get whatever toppings yeah. you want on there, and like the bunch of them are free, so it's kind of cool if you're in the area, yeah. check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll meet you at the, uh, the golf store yeah. or golf course. Still haven't decided. Nope. <laughs> but we'll meet you there. And just like that, we're literally across the street at a PGA Superstore. So let's see what they got inside. Hopefully it's less shady than the pawn shop and estate sale, but let's see what they got. All right, let's take a look at what they got for the pre-owned and clearance section. The uh, new prices are the same at every store, so we don't really yeah. look at them. They're just the new stuff. But we got a uh, set of uh, Ping I-2s, two iron all the way down through the wedge, red dot. How much are these going for? Under $189.99. That's actually a pretty good deal yeah. for some classics. We got a set of M2s. Like that sign, $250 and under. Oh, yeah. So all of these are $250 and under. For M2s, that's a pretty good deal, actually. Yeah. Those still go for a pretty good uh, amount of money on eBay. Mm -hmm. What else do we got over here? We got some Titleist CBs that are looking absolutely stunning. They kind of look like the uh, Adam CB2s. Oh, they do. Yeah. Or the, yeah, the CB2s. I'm probably saying the wrong one, but. I know which yeah. ones he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> got the uh, PXGs in the house. We got a. Uh, $524.99 for some PXGs. Those are the 0311s. I think that's the first generation. Yeah. And then some 0211s. They're like budget option, which is going for $549.99. Cobras are pretty crazy. Cobra Baffler uh, hybrid yeah. irons. We got a bunch of uh, utility uh, irons over here. The uh, X Forge Callaway. Got the Ping. Uh, crossover? Yeah, the crossover. I've only seen the, uh, the black one in person. I forgot if they were called anything different. They are not, <laughs> which is pretty obvious, but. You think I know that? Ping Glide Wedge. What else so, yeah, you got? You can quickly see that I don't know as much about the uh, newer clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, uh, the classics for sure. Got a Vokey SM7. How much the Vokey's going for? $25 for the CG14. You can see the Vokey SM7 50 degree. What do we got going on in here? Uh, $49.99. That's not bad at all. It's uh, better than eBay prices. Got some putters down here. What do we got? Uh, is that a PXG? Oh yeah, it's a PXG mini gunboat, I think. <laughs> Just saying I don't know about modern, and then I pick out a random one. $224, it's not bad actually. I think you can get those on eBay for like 170, but that's eBay. We're not at eBay. We got a uh, Ping G30 here for 115. These things are skyrocketing in price. I know that we say that a lot, but I've seen those going for like 180, over $200 used. But last year you can get them for like 115. Yeah. So if you see these in stores, definitely uh, pick them up for that and kind of price. They're also great clubs. So. Yeah, they're all super forgiving. Yeah. Just as good as anything modern, in my opinion. It's actually the driver that I use, the uh, King Cobra F7, $99. We'll all avoid the uh, King Cobra F6 story <laughs> for a little bit longer. What else we got over here? Got an SLDR 5 wood going for $29.99. That is crazy. a crazy deal. Let's see how much the Sim Maxes are going for. $180. Got an M13 high launch, 60 bucks for that. That is a, that might be coming home with us since like perfect condition. Yeah, it is. Oh. It's like they never took it out. Yeah, that is what flex we got. X flex, this is literally perfect. Huh. Might be getting that. Can't really negotiate here, but I'll try it because it's funny. You can get some table balls for $9.99 a dozen. They've got Kirkland signatures in here, Nike Mojo. Add to uh, Ashley's uh, lifetime supply. Yeah. Get some uh, Buick open ones, some old school Nikes. Tory Pines. Tory Pines. You probably put yourself. Auto Parts? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kirkland Signature and O'Reilly Auto and Parts. And a mojo. <laughs> Whoa, that's a holy grail golf ball. Must buy. I wonder if they'll sell it to us individually. 
<laughs> That'll be our negotiated. Can we get this in yeah, that club? Free? There you go. I was going to be too afraid to negotiate. That will, that'll be our bargaining chip. X Flex. Oh, wow. That's literally just the Rose's Club? Yeah, it's Tour X Flex. So I'm just it? making sure if you're going to use it. Yeah. But okay. did he actually, or is it just his model? No, he, there, he just is. Uh, his buddy or teacher or whatever traded in a bunch of his stuff. And I'm going, this oh, is really? all Justin's hands hand me downs, isn't it? Is there any more over there? Uh, yeah. Well, There's a whole bunch. A whole bunch of tailor made stuff? No, all different. Oh, really? Are there any of his uh, Hanma stuff? There's two, two drivers, 374, I think. Oh, cool. Oh, really? I got the, uh, the, the M1, yeah. That's the cleanest M1 I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah I, Renee, I, was, I just saw it and I was like, that's, that's a good that's, price. That's how we know that it's. Not just yeah, Alright, we spotted some more of uh, Justin Rose's clubs. These are the TR20s, the Hanmas, three hundred and seventy-five dollars. If you are looking for, I don't know how to prove that they're uh, no, <laughs> Justin those Rose's. Are the shiniest used clubs I've ever seen? Yeah, and you can see the T marks. I don't know if it showed up on the camera. You can see it literally dead center. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> shafts that are way too uh, <laughs> stiff for my uh, game, but we're gonna give this one a swing for sure. <laughs> All right, folks, that was definitely a meandering day to say the least, yes. more so than our usual videos. Mm -hmm. We started at an estate sale, we went to some pawn shops, Universal. Bunch of crazy stuff, but we just got done trying out all the clubs at the uh, driving range and got some shot tracers for you. And Ashley uh, let me hit the uh, the Justin Rose three wood. Yeah, and then for a solid 20 minutes, you tried to convince me to hit it, but no, I'm not leaving a mark on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to convince her for 20 minutes. She wasn't having it. Maybe we'll uh, go over that and show you the shot tracer in a second. Stay tuned for that. But let's get a look at all of these clubs. We got this full set of uh, Cobra SS's and the Lynx Black Cats. The Cobra SS's uh, go all the way from the forearm down to a 55 degree sandwich. Mm -hmm. Those go for about 100 dollars and then the uh, Lynx Black Cats, a full set, the Lynx Black Cat Tours. Those are actually pretty good. I hit the uh, forearm really well. Yeah, and I uh, actually hit it pretty yeah, well Yeah, you, you hit like everything good today. I don't know why you wouldn't hit the Justin Rose one. Because I don't want to scratch it up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. But uh, those ones go for about 60 or $70. We've had this idea of creating what like, you know, our store is called bogey flips. We uh, create like bogey bundles. So basically like this would be a perfect example of that. Like these Lynx Black Cats are like $60, but they're like a perfectly good starter iron. Mm -hmm. We just like put together like a bundle for like $50, throw in like a pretty good driver, a putter and everything. Yeah, and so people can just like get started playing with that. Yeah. Like it's not about the money obviously because you could sell these for $70, but it'd be cool to start like little bogey bundles or yeah, something like that. So it's like just go out on the course, you're yeah, good to go. Your starter pack, a bogey bundle. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe for every one of those sell, we'll donate one to a charity as well. Yeah. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Uh, but we also, uh, at the same place, we got this uh, Wilson uh, FG Tour V6 basically thrown in there. We had uh, done the deal and I was like, do you know about this like 9 iron in there? There wasn't a price and the guy yeah. just basically gave it to me. So can't complain about that. And there was a puppy there. So. Yeah, the puppy. Ashley's <laughs> uh, new friend. Convince uh, Ashley to get a dog. I don't think Tater Totter Cat likes dogs. Yeah, Tater Tot's <laughs> not a dog cat. But we got the uh, Voodoo Daddy, some uh, old nostalgia right there. It didn't have the same magic. I did make a putt, so I guess it's pretty good, but... A little magic. A little magic. We'll uh, have to bring that out onto the course a little bit more to uh, try it out. And then the piece de resistance Ooh. of the day. What, imagine if those guys like didn't like our channel, they knew who we were, and they are just like, we're going to get them. This yeah, is like exactly. Justin Rose's one. Got you. Yeah, got you. That would be hilarious. Good on them. But either way, <laughs> it was $60. It's it a perfectly mid-conditioned uh, M1 high launch. Those are like the most sought-after ones, the uh, high launch ones. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Brooks Kepi used like the M2 uh, high launch one for a long time, so mm -hmm. those were super popular. And then I did hit it. And it, yeah, yeah, you could tell it's like a tele <laughs> Yeah, it was like a telephone pole. I swung as hard as I possibly could. I got it up in the air and it felt pretty amazing. The M Woods, especially like in this good a condition for sixty dollars, and then Never having it be it that good yeah, condition. having it be like a tour issue one possibly. That is uh, pretty dang cool. Yeah. But uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button, and subscribe, and oh, you forgot to say about the pawn shop. Oh yeah, that pawn shop. That was gonna be like a like a perfect deal. We had the uh, yeah. F six uh, three wood four wood uh, combo thing, and then there was a uh, Titleist nine ten F. 13.5 degrees mm -hmm. and we went up there you guys saw that we agreed upon a price yeah. and then he totally backed out of it because one of them didn't have like a sticker on it and so he started like looking stuff up on ebay and he's like i can't even give you the titleist for uh, 60 dollars when that was what was marked on there yeah he's like yeah, it was just a bizarre deal even if he like came back and said it was 81 dollars, it was more like the principal at the time because he made us like wait there for like 40 minutes looking everything up uh, just strange know. Overall, but, just strange day, but yeah. good. <laughs> if things turn for the better there. We got the uh, Justin Rose 3 We got to uh, Universal. Also, guys, comment below if uh, we should start the uh, the uh, theme park channel. Maybe have it be like more of just like random stuff. Yeah. Like our, our fishing, like uh, going to play random golf courses. 
like along with us for the day. Yeah, much. like garage sales where you don't find golf clubs or something like that. But yeah. let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like, run, subscribe, and yeah, we'll see, you next see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.